Hey guys, it's Anna from Brightling Gardens and today we're going to talk about a Scandinavian gardening trend that's being talked a lot about right now and it is so truly Scandinavian that I can't even begin to pronounce it so I'm going to go ahead and recruit Google for some help on this one. Pelagonsjuka. We're looking at a really big word that is used to define a very simple practice that is centered around the Scandinavian's love of geraniums. Geraniums are a part of a flowering genus that is called pelargoniums, which is where this Swedish word comes from. So when you hear the word pelargonium, you can immediately think geranium. Now that we've tied those two concepts together, let's talk about another thing in Scandinavia, which is the fact that their winters are very long and their summers are very short. As a resident of Northern Michigan, I can absolutely empathize with them on this because our winters can last upwards of five months long, meaning we get our first snow in October. And in some cases like this year, we can get our last snow as late as May. So when it comes to gardening, we are all outside the moment that spring weather hits and we are very, very sad to see it go. Now, this is perfect timing for this. We just had our summer solstice, which means we just celebrated our longest day of the year, which of course means our days will progressively get shorter as we get into the winter until we hit December. So what comes with a long winter? Uh, we're talking about a lot of darkness, really short days, and of course, a little bit of depression from being inside all the time and just not being able to see that sunshine. In comes the Scandinavian trend of Pelagonsjuka. This is the practice of bringing your geraniums inside with you over the winter and using them to brighten up your space, add some fresh air, add some green colors, and really ward off some of those winter blues. Now, a lot of us are probably practicing this in some way, shape, or form already. Now you have an official term for it, but let's talk more about why they use geraniums specifically. Geraniums are hardy, and you already know that if you've been planting them in your yard, these are really commonly used as memorials at grave sites as well, simply because they can tolerate a wide variety of conditions and can go without direct care for a longer period of time than most other annuals can. Now, geraniums are still truly an annual, but how they differ from a lot of other annuals is the fact that they will continue to produce flowers well into the winter as long as you can bring them indoors and out of the frost. So unlike your traditional pansies or petunias that will stop blooming after a certain point, you can actually continue to bloom your geraniums as long as you give them the proper care. Place your geraniums on a windowsill or a shelf that can get at least four hours of sunlight per day. Your geraniums don't need to be watered as much indoors as they did when they were out on your patio over the summer. Plan to water every two to four days and allow the first half inch of soil to dry out in between each watering. If your store-bought geraniums are still in their original containers, plan to upplant those into a larger terracotta pot or a plastic planter like I have here to enable them room to grow over the winter. There's typically no need to fertilize during the winter months as the plant doesn't grow as voraciously as it does over the summer. Just keep a close eye and trim off any dead leaves as they come up. Geraniums are prolific bloomers, and as you can see, they have many sets of blooms ready to go even as they have a full bloom on top. This means that you'll be rewarded with continuous blooms throughout the winter season as long as they're cared for appropriately. Geraniums aren't the only plant that you can practice this indoor growing trend with. Coleus, fuchsias, begonias, and New Guinea patients are all awesome plants to bring inside with you over the winter months to add a pop of color and a little bit of freshness to your indoor space. This Scandinavian gardening trend has been around for ages, and as we continue to talk about mental health and how seasonal affective disorder impacts mental health, gardening trends like this will continue to become more and more common. It's no secret that working with plants and gardening with plants can be a huge boost to your mental health. So if you struggle with the winter blues, seasonal affective disorder, or just want to bring some color into your home this winter, consider practicing this trend with geraniums or one of the other plants that I mentioned earlier in this video. If you have any questions, comments, ideas about this gardening trend, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoy watching content like this, please take the time to subscribe to our channel. It really helps out small businesses like ours and enables us to go ahead producing more content like this. As always, thank you so much for tuning in with us today, and I sure hope to see you next time.
exempel är gomsjuka. 